do you need it to add other items within it? If I click on this, uh, I just want to point out if I click off of this table, we only our tabs up top stop at uh, well, I have a, a QuickBook. You might not have this last tab over here, but you might stop at help. You might not have developer either. But the point is that if I click on this table, we get these two other tabs up top, the chart design and the formatting tab. So if I go into the chart design tab, you've got the add chart elements. So if I hit the drop down axis, axis title, uh, chart title, data labels, we've got uh, the quick layout information. You can change the color scheme you know, fairly quickly up top. So this is the default blue is like the default color scheme. You know, so uh, anytime you wanna look a little bit more unique, you might wanna change it from the default. If you hit the drop down here, you've got your other kind of custom designs within uh, this area. So you can get the same basic chart. If you wanted to switch uh, the row and columns easily, you can do that here. Here's the data set. So if I go into the data set, now you can see uh, this is this is the word count and the and the information on the data set on the left. If I wanted to edit this, that shows us that uh, th this is uh, the the word count, the series, and the series values uh, being shown here. So if I wanted to change these, I could I could go into here and change the uh, where they're coming from, which we might do in future presentations. So I'm going to close that, but we had it pull in by default correctly because we organized the columns properly with the uh, you know the words on the left and the numbers on the right so it can give us the word count on the X and uh, the numbers on the Y as basically the default uh, uh, change chart type so if we wanted to change the chart type we get to our we don't have to like delete it and do it again which is what I normally do you could just go here and change the chart type from here and uh, move the chart. If we wanted to move the chart to a new sheet, notice I could say instead of putting it in the same sheet, maybe I want the chart in its own sheet and I can put it here and name the new sheet and then I'll make a new sheet uh, down here so we can have it on its own if we so choose. And then if I go to the format tab, we've got some more, uh, uh, the current section chart area, we've got the insert of, of uh, the shapes, the, the uh, shape styles, uh, the shape fill on the colors and whatnot that we can put more information or more, you know, fancy stuff into the word styles and accessibility, a range and the size. Now note, you can go into a lot of those two by, by clicking on the elements in the chart. So if I click on the element, I could delete the title if I want, or I can right click on the element and uh, pull some options that way. If I wanted to do something with the sidebar, I can click on the sidebar and if I double click on it, it'll give me the information related to it on the right. If I wanted to do something with these bars, if I double click on it, it'll go to the format tab up top and change. I can change the color and whatnot. And I also have the information on the right, uh, which will open up here. If I wanted to do something to the format down below, I can double click on it here. So there's multiple ways to get into the same stuff. Also on the right hand side, if I hit the plus button, you've got some, again, multiple ways to get into the same stuff a lot of the time. So we've got the access, we've got the access titles. So if I wanna put a title, you can see on the, on, on the axes, I can click on this and then I can click on say uh, this title. And as I type in it, I can call this word count. Now it doesn't show up here, but I can see it up top. So, so it's, it is doing it, even though it's a little, it's a little weird. I can say word count. And then when I hit enter, it'll populate. And if I down, if I click down here and do the same thing, this is just going to be the words, uh, and enter. So now we've got our, our, uh, names that we have in there. I can hit that. And if I say, this is, this is the chart title, uh, the data labels, which are often useful to have. I can add the data labels if I want. So there's the data labels. I could, you know, double click on the data labels and get more information that we can, you know, how we're going to populate the labels on the right hand side if we so choose. And uh, the the uh, data table down below, we've got the error bars so i'm um, so we could add a little bit more information on the error bars the grid lines you could turn them on and off uh, a legend 
we don't need a legend because we only have one thing, but if we had multiple things in the bar and then a trend line, if we wanted to add uh, the trend line. So that's just a, a basic overview of the standard kind of chart. So now that we've done this, done this one time, let's do it a little bit more quickly with a similar thing for uh, Harry Potter. So I'm gonna do this quickly on Harry Potter. I'm gonna go to the, to the Harry Potter tab and we've got our data. So this is the most frequently used words in the series. So let's do this a little, I'm scrolling up, I'm holding down control, I'm scrolling up. I'm gonna pick my, my information. Uh, so I'm gonna pick this information. I like to make it into a table. So I'm gonna go into the home, to the insert and make it into a table. And then I like to format the data uh, by highest to lowest. It's already formatted that way, but let's do it again. Hit the drop down Z to A. And then if I wanna insert a table on this data, I can select the entire data set and it's as easy as going to insert and then charts. I could do the recommended ones and see some of these a little bit more uh, unique or it's not, you know, a little bit different style of a table, but I'm gonna go to the, make my own standard one like this way. So there's our table and you might, use, you know, let's do a sideways one. So here's the same kind of concept, in, you know, in the side format. So we just changed the axes. And then again, I can double click on the item up top and say, this is Harry. I, I keep on saying Harry like Harry instead of the name Harry. <laughs> I don't know if that's, a, I, I'm not, Harry word uh, count. And so there we have this one. And so, and then, and then we could, we could make, make changes to uh, some of these items if we want, if like this legend down here, if we wanted to change that, notice it's picking the minimum number and then the maximum, and it's going up by uh, units of a thousand. So maybe we, we can change the look and feel of this a lot by saying, what if I wanted these units to not go up by a thousand, but 500 uh, or something like that, uh, then it's, it's gonna change, you know, we could change the, you know, the look of it. So let's put it back to a thousand for now. We'll see that a little bit more when we get to the histogram or, or I can reset it to auto. Here's the auto set. It's at 10,000 and I put 500. So that changes a lot, but we'll talk, we'll talk more about that in, uh, later. Uh, so this will just keep with this. So if I did the same thing down here, we have two frequencies. These are the most frequently used words in Harry Potter. And then they, they have, these are displayed frequency of nonstop uh, words, meaning they're not like the and two, which are gonna be used more often. So these might be more relevant words in some cases because they removed the most common words that might not be as much of interest. So let's do the same thing. I'll just insert a table and then, okay, I'll sort it from Z to A and then we'll insert our table here, insert charts and I'll make an, that another sideways bar chart to match the one above. And we'll say this is uh, Harry, uh, word. Notice I'm looking up here because that's where it's typing word frequency with with this is for non quote stop words quote end quote <laughs> non non stop word. There shouldn't be a quote here. Non stop words. Okay, and this one Harry word count. We'll just keep it at that. All right. You get the gist of it. You don't need to be all specific on it. And so we can kind of format these and that's, that's the general, that's the general idea. So now we'll, we'll move next time and see, well, what if this was, uh, what if this was like numerical data over here or something, right? And then we have, then we might need to use a, a, a histogram, which is similar to this. And we can actually combine the data to still make use a bar chart. So we'll talk about that uh, in future presentations.